Hello, YouTubers, subscribers, and friends. Well, I'm going to do some work on my trike today. Uh, I thought I'd come out here in the morning, Sunday morning. And the wind is already starting to pick up. So I went out and I bought some uh, wood so I could uh, think I bought too much wood. For some reason, I was thinking my panels were longer than they actually are. So I had bought too much wood. What I'm going to do is, uh, I thought I was going to do the whole length, but I forgot that this isn't that very long, so I'm going to have to cut this wood. Put it to here. You can use one stick for two, two panels. And uh, what I'm going to do is nail these little nails here, this to the side of the wood there. That will go on like that. And then I got these self tapping screws. So I'm going to drill down and then put on the forks right here. Tap into this metal here. I'll start a pilot hole first so these screws can go into there. I did some grinding on the thing. I didn't grind it completely smooth because I want to have some rough roughage looking in there. And uh, this I don't want to grind too much because I want to keep the strength in that so it's not going to be perfect body work but I grind it back, back there also I did up cut off this piece of metal that was there but I'm going to do the same thing here I'm going to uh, well, actually this isn't going to go here this is going to go back here so I'm going to put this here like that and then that's going to be that to that just going to be drilled to there. These arm bars are what's going to go. This is why I was thinking it was so long because of the arm bars. This is going to go here. I don't know. I'm going to have to cut out a notch here or something. Somehow figure out how to cut out a notch. I think I got a wood chisel. I can chisel that out so that'll fit flush against there. And then I'll screw the self tapping screws. First, I'll drill the holes in the wood and the pilot holes in there and then this will go on the edge like that. So what you'll see will be like that. And uh, the only one I'm going to have a problem with I think is uh, going inside this one coming down here because it's going to be in the middle. So I haven't quite figured out how I'm going to do this one yet in the middle. This one is going to be in the uh, foot ornament type thing. I got the bolt already. I just got to figure out how to attach this to the bolt. Probably some kind of silicone glue here or something. Uh, I don't know. And then I'm going to uh, do some painting today with this flat black. I think I'm going to have to get another can maybe but, uh, yeah I got to do the drilling holes first and then, um, uh, scuff up this I'm getting to the end of my project which is uh, cool I was trying to find some Batman stickers that I could just cover that with Batman stickers but uh, I'm not having any luck for that but this is what I'm going to be working on today, and uh, hopefully uh, the wind stops. It's not breezy now. Hopefully it doesn't get too worse. So let's see what it ends up like. Okay, uh, I cut out a notch here in the wood so this would sit flush against there and be flush against here, so the arm bar can go in like that. This will all be painted black anyway. I made a mess on the floor. And then I'm going to cut it off here the, at the end of the uh, arm bar. So you won't see this wood over here. And I'm going to block the hole for the wheel. So I just got to do one for the other side. And then drill these holes here. Alright, the wind is starting to pick up a lot. And uh, I drilled the uh, 
pilot holes here in the wood and then I drilled all the way down through to the metal so I can know where to drill on both sides all the way through there so the these holes are this this is a little bit small but I want it small because I want it to uh, be a tight fit these are self tapping screws so get started on that all right I'm working on the rear now uh, I just cut uh, this wood here try to cut it to the shape of the rear so it curves like that and I cut this little short over here so it don't stick out on that side now it's gonna go right here like that and then this is gonna be screwed to that right there like that and uh, everything's gonna be painted this is gonna be painted black I'm gonna drill some holes here just like I did on the front forks and then mark it here so I can drill here too and after I get everything drilled and cut then I'm going to paint everything black okay I just got through nailing those little tacks that look like this you gotta watch your fingers when you're nailing these things they'll use and now I'm trying to figure out where I want to uh, put this uh, here on the frame if I put it back here you won't be able to see the curves too much so I think I'm going to put it more up like that. Maybe more just outside the tire there so you can get a side view, better side view of what it looks like. I want to get it flush, but I don't really have that much room. Narrow. I already have the uh, holes already pre-drilled, so that's what it'll look like, and and it'll be painted black. Then I got some metal tape and uh, covered this hole with some metal tape. I don't know if this will paint will stick to this, but I'm just testing it right now. I have to put more in one layer still it's not that wide of tape but that's what I'm working on right, right at the moment this one is done this one is, needs to be painted and then the holes oh, that's what I forgot to do mark out the holes and drill that and get down to that all right I got the holes marked and drilled already for the back fins I got the forks done already I got the Wood drilled is how everything's prepped. The only thing I work on now is the handlebars for the arm bars. And I was going to put it on a piece of wood like that, like I did everything else, but I decided to instead drill a hole in the in the handlebars and then drill a hole through the arm bar here. And I'm just going to put the wood just, just like that flat on the handlebars because it's going to be painted black anyways. And I'm going to put this self tapping screw right through this and all the way through the bar there to the other side and then I'm just going to grind off the edge that comes out on the other side because it went all the way through. I think that's just the easiest, easiest way to do that because uh, it's going to be painted black and the bolt will be painted black also. So I got this side done and so I don't mess up what size they go on to. I'm just going to uh, put an L here so I know it's the left side and uh, now I'm going to do the same with the right side over here boom and then I'm done with all my drilling and then all I gotta do is just do some paint scuff up I got this little sanding block I'm gonna scuff up that red paint down there and uh, I'm not going for perfection just going to get it to where the paint will stick to it the wind is blowing more and I, I bought too many pieces of wood and I'll be returning these three pieces because they're like just in uh, expensive they're like uh, bucks there. So, you know, I don't want to 
waste money. So I'll put this in my truck so I don't lose it and then I'll get to drilling that other side. All right, all right, all right, all right. Working on the down tube or the arm bar going on the down tube. And uh, trying to figure out how to, I don't want to put it on the side. It'll look funny because there's only one. So I've got to figure out how to put it in the middle there. And uh, I got this piece of wood here and I cut out a notch in there so that uh, this would sit sit on there but then sit in that notch so I can glue it but it's hitting that nut there so I try to countersink that nut the biggest drill bit I got but it won't go all the way down because the socket keeps it from going all the way down and uh got some, some bee up here upside down look at it buzzing around here where'd he go oh man hit my arm so anyway, so what I decided to do was cut a notch out, so it will sit down in the groove, like that, and uh, flatten that groove so I can glue it, and then that notch go right over that nut there. So that's what I'm doing there, and I already drilled it, and this is going to go in that hole and get screwed down in there, and then that'll be like that, but it'll be flush with the bar there. And then paint it black. So I got everything, all my body panels drilled and cut and figure out how I'm going to put them in. Now I just got to paint. I just got to sand this right here. What's this block? Block thing here. Get it stuffed up and then I can start shooting some paint. Alright, I'm here in the DCS painting booth. And uh, I got this cut out here that I bought for. I was going to use it for the uh, trike uh, sitting area, but I decided I'm going to use it as a table. And I got everything scuffed up, and I'm going to shoot the paint now. Hope the dust doesn't get on it because it's pretty windy outside. It's, uh, starting to pick up the wind, and it's annoying. So I'm going to get this stuff shot as fast as possible. I got the frame all scuffed up, and it's all rough looking. The shine's gone. I got this metal tape put on here block that and hopefully the paint will stick to it we'll see I'm not looking for a showroom paint job just looking to make it black and cover up the metal so it don't rust so let me get the paint shaken up Stop. all right so I got everything painted black but I ran out of black flat black paint I have to paint the other side of the panel so I'm gonna have to purchase another can of paint I don't know when I'll do that but the frame has been painted uh, the aluminum tape is painted uh, I got some scuff and you know you can see chunks and stuff but it's it's not about being a uh, show bike it's about just you know it's a look a rough black flat look um, I just painted these I just ran out of paint I got to do the other sides but uh, the wind is picking up you see my hair blowing in the shadow there it's blowing so much crap and, and blowing inside my shed here too so I mean, I feel like I'm getting high from smelling that paint. I got the wood. I'm probably going to have to put a lot of coats on here because it uh, soaks it up really quick. And uh, this looks cool. Flat black body panel. So we'll see what it looks like in a day or so once it really soaks it all up. But, uh, I'm moving forward Eric. Got all this frame painted, all both sides of the paint is uh, painted. I got a little run there, but that's on the bottom. You're not going to see it. I got paint all over my hands. Painted the pedals and the cranks. Uh, they were pink before. Flat black now. So that's going to look cool. And uh, even though the handlebars were painted black, I painted them over with a flat black, a real quick coat. So it would match the rest of the bike, flat black. So the frame and handlebars and everything is painted. Just got to do the panels and uh, put it all together. I still have to get some kind of glue to glue that panel to this one with a notch. And the seat's still up there. And uh, it's looking cool. All I have to do is assemble it all together. Oh, I still have to get a chain too. I don't know. I might take that chain off that mountain bike over there. See if it'll fit. I haven't even test fitted that, but 
as far as the build goes the build is done everything I need for this build is finished it just has to be put back together assembled and finished painting um, and it looks cool here in the shed I know it's dark in the shed you can't really tell but it looks good to me I mean it's gonna look cool once it's put all together oh there's the forks too I had the forks paint flat black That's cool. I gotta go in and get me some lunch now. And uh, I got the green machine front wheel's been sitting in there for about four or five days. It's got rust on, I haven't took it out, but we'll see what happens with that. But this looks good here, nice and flat. You know, just wanted to cover all the bare metal and stuff. I'm excited, I can't wait to get it put together because it looks cool. I'm gonna have to, maybe I'll run into town and get some. Like flat paint. Who knows? Well, that's it for now in this series. Uh, I think this is 21, or we'll see. I'm gonna go to get some meat. Yeah, I'm gonna get.